Man, don't you just love this this natural lighting? This, this part of my face is like so hot right now. Oh man. Well today, we're going to be jumping into a EP review, my first EP review for Neverland by Andy Minio. But before we jump into it, just want to say there's some stuff down in the description. As always, you want to check that out if you want to know how the channel works, where I'm getting my reviews from, and how to request an album for me to review. So just check it out in the description below. Andy Minio is a member of the Christian rap label, the number one biggest, most popular Christian rap label. I mean, I guess the the biggest like Christian rap only. There is Capitol Records, which has NF. Actually, I don't know if they have NF, but they have Social Club Misfits and No Big Deal, and they have some other rappers on there, and they might be more commercially successful. But Reach Records is the biggest only Christian rap label led by Lecrae, and Andy Minio, just a fun fact, is the only um, white rapper on Reach Records. So I guess, I guess that's a thing. Neverland is Andy Minio's number one biggest, most popular, most commercially successful project. Thanks to the, um, his number one most popular song is on this thing, and it's called You Can't Stop Me. I've heard that You Can't Stop Me is certified gold, which is very rare for Christian rap. Christian rap is there's barely a market for it because it doesn't get played on the radio. It doesn't get played on Christian radio because there's too much rap. It's too, it's too, sounds too much like rap music. And it doesn't get played on rap radio because it's too Christian. So that's just kind of a dilemma for Christian rappers. But this song was, I think it was the number one most popular MLB walk-up song for like a whole year. So I don't know how that happened. I don't know how it got... It like beat a Taylor Swift song and it beat a Travis Scott song. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how he ended up beating Taylor Swift and Travis Scott for the most popular song, but he did. And so that's uh, You Can't Stop Me on this EP. Despite being an EP and despite only having seven songs, this thing is over 30 minutes long. This thing is the length of, a, this thing is the length of some full length albums. Some albums are just like 30 minutes and this thing is like, Maybe like 33 minutes, I'm not exactly sure, but most of the songs on this thing, despite only having seven songs, they're pretty long. The song All of Me is like over five minutes. The title track is just under five minutes. Most of these songs are under, are like five minutes. And then, um, yeah. So, despite being an EP, this is a, a lot of music, a lot of uh, long run time for just an EP. This thing, despite only having seven songs, has plenty of guest artists, specifically in the Christian rap genre. The first song, um, Neverland, the title track, features Mars Fur, which is like, I, she, I'm not sure exactly what she does. I've heard her featured on other Christian rap songs. I haven't heard her anywhere else, so I don't really know what she does. But then you also have uh, the song Pisano's Wiling, a very goofy song. Very appropriately features um, Marty, a very goofy person. Marty from the Social Club Misfits. Another Christian rap, uh, a na another name in the Christian rap uh, subgenre, I guess. You also have the song Paganini, and this song has this is basically a feature song, one of those rap songs that just does, you know, uh, Andy Minio and it does two other people. So Andy Minio does the first person chorus, and then you have KB, another Reach Records rapper, and Cannon. I'm not sure what he's signed to, but he's another Christian rapper. I've talked about uh, Marty. Canon, KB, extensively. We're going to review all of those guys, several albums from those guys. So, I'm I'm familiar with all the guest artists on here. If you know, if you listen to a lot of Christian rap, then you're going to recognize some of the names on this project. The music on this project is mostly kind of dark, kind of slow, and kind of serious sounding. Even on the lighter tracks, it sounds a little bit heavier. It sounds like it's a little bit more serious, except for the song, um, You Can't Stop Me. But the rest of these songs, Pisano's Wyland kind of has this like dark kind of beat to it, along with um, Paganini. Even though those are the lightest songs on the record, they just kind of have this kind of dark like stuff going on in the music. I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to describe. And then a lot of these songs really do have a serious tone, and so the serious music is fitting. The lyrics on this thing are basically a 50-50 split of extremely goofy and careless and very serious. The very careless songs on this record are You Can't Stop Me, Pisano's Wylan, and Paganini. These literally, some of them are just hype, just hype songs, just having a good time songs. And some of them, like, 
um, Pisano's Wylan fights for the title of absolutely most ridiculous Christian rap song ever. Literally, you just have to listen to it. I'm not going to quote this because it's super cringy if I try to do it. And it's cringy when you're listening to it. But it's got references to, to Star Wars and a lot of goofy stuff. A lot of goofy stuff going on in the lyrics of this song. So you're just going to have to listen to it. I'm, I'm not going to sing it or read it for you. The rest of the songs on this project are pretty serious. They're, they all deal with some serious subject matter or they're trying to be profound or have a profound message and of course all the songs in this record even the really fun goofy songs are kind of rooted or i wouldn't say kind of they are rooted in andy minio's christian faith he references his faith on like all of these songs and the record is just kind of you know inspired by that like like most christian rap is but i mean i don't know most of the, the topics on this thing are not super duper memorable, except for Rewind. In Rewind, Andy Minio talks about how he got to where he is right now. He talked about his journey and how he got signed to Reach Records and all that stuff. And so, but the rest of the songs aren't, don't have a super specific message or theme, or even if they do, I didn't really pick up on it. It's not super memorable. Now, the big question remains, what is the quality of this record? Is this something worth checking out? Is it something you should stay away from? Well, I gotta tell you, I'm I'm not I'm not really feeling this record. It's I, honestly not feeling it as much as I like his Andy Minio's other stuff. Neverland has this vibe, has this feeling of being just okay. That's what this. It feels like a lot of this just feels like it's good. It's just not great. It's not impressive. It just feels, you know, okay. It all works all right. It's just not amazing. Both the music, just the music especially, this is true of, it just sounds all right. These songs don't sound terrible. They don't sound bad, but they really just don't give you that much. They don't give you stuff to hold on to, to chew on, stuff to really enjoy, something to really dig your teeth into. I don't know. The exception to all the averageness of this record, to the just, you know, in terms of music, just the mediocrity, just the okayness of these songs, would be the last two songs, um, Paganini and Death of Me. Paganini, honestly, it's a lot of fun. The music is actually really cool. It's got like an anime sample, I think, and that really does do the song credit. It really gives it credit, makes it kind of catchy. And it just, musically, it just sounds pretty cool. It's well delivered. I mean, just not, not, it's, it just sounds better than the other songs on the record for the most part. Death of Me is a punchy song. It's got, you know, the very serious lyrics going for it. And the production really does do it credit. It really is kind of very punchy, very, I don't know. I don't know how to describe the production. It's, it's very good. This song actually sounds really good. The one complaint I have with the music though, see, even though it does sound really good, I still have a complaint. The music never really changes. It basically, the beat stays the same. It's a good beat and it sounds good and it does, fits well with the lyrics and tone of the song, but it just doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't 100% work because it's, I mean, it, it does, I don't know. It, it just doesn't change. And so I'm going to have to point that out. Sounds pretty good, but still not fantastic. As for the lyrics on this thing, the lyrics on this thing are seriously a mixed bag. Some of these songs, like I pointed out, the I pointed out the more serious songs and the lighthearted songs. Actually, I, I just named, I pointed out by name the lighthearted songs. Lyrically, these are not very good at all. They're either just very careless, some of them are kind of dumb, some of it's corny, and some of it is cringy. You Can't Stop Me is one of Andy Minio's worst songs. I'm not kidding. It's literally, because... Musically, it's it's the worst one on this record, and lyrically, it's just the, also the worst on this record. It doesn't sound good. It is so cringy and corny. Now, I do like um, Pisano's Wylan lyrically is the best of the goofy songs because it has some kind of clever. It has what you call bars. My brother really cares about bars. He like thinks Kanye West great because he's got great bars. I should stop doing that. But this song has some has some lines that put a smile on my face that are pretty clever. So it has that going for it. But the more serious songs on this record, honestly, the lyrics are pretty good. They're not as memorable or punchy or, I don't know, powerful or I don't know how to say it, 
as a lot of Andy Mineo's other lyrics, though, uh, on a lot of his other songs, they just don't pack as big of a punch as he has in the past, or he will in the future for his future records and for the record Heroes for Sale, have better lyrics. This thing just, even though the lyrics are good and they're serious and they're well done, I guess, they're just not amazing. Honestly, this record just has this feeling of mediocrity that just plagues the whole record. Overall, Neverland is not a great record. It's definitely not a bad record. This mediocrity, I, I said mediocre. I said mediocre. I said it's okay. Honestly, it sounds all right. The production, these songs sound sort of good, except for uh, You Can't Stop Me. And the lyrics are sort of good, even on, you know, the only songs that, because there's only two songs on here that don't have great lyrics, which would be Paganini and You Can't Stop Me. The rest, you know, because I like the lyrics on Pisano's Wylan, sounds all right. Honestly, set, it's just an okie dokie record. I'm going to have to give this thing three stars out of five. What did you think of this record? What do you think of the song, You Can't Stop Me? You probably really like it. I'm kind of a cynic. I know it's his most popular song. I just am not feeling this song, honestly. But maybe you like it. And uh, what do you think, man? What do you think of this Deadpool? Deadpool jacket. I think it's cool. I like my hat, too. And outside, man, the sun is in my face. That's probably a bad thing. It feels It's just hot. It's kind of uncomfortable for me. It probably doesn't look good on the camera either, so have a good day. Thanks for watching. Thanks, man.